I forgot. What is the I don't know what type. Gland, <coughs> but they have something that antagonizes the action of it. So you can have the alpha cells go in and rule out the fat cat syndrome. What are the ones that are adjacent to a follicle? Good day in the life. Finals week. Finals week. Give me some love. Give me some love. It's just, oh my god. I had to put a little freeze frame here because how cute is this dog? One like and I take the dog home. I feel like this week's vlog is going to be very interesting for finals week vlog. Class vote, class vote. How many hours of sleep did I get? Two. Three. That's Four. Three. Oh. I was in the lab this morning mm. and there were like 20 people in there. At 8.30 in the morning. That's terrifying. As you can see, we're still in class the week before finals. So we're learning all this new material all while trying to study old material. And it might seem crazy or hard, but it's not impossible, it's doable. Honestly, my studying methods changed from the beginning of the semester all the way up until finals. Down below in the description, I'm gonna list a bunch of things that I'd recommend you do at the start of the semester to set yourself up for finals. Your studying methods might be completely different from mine. What works for me doesn't mean it's gonna work for you, but it doesn't hurt to try new things. This isn't undergrad anymore, it's grad school and things change. For example, I never did group study. I always like to study alone, but in grad school, I thrive off of it. The way that somebody explains something to me might stick with me better than the way the professor might have said it. And if you get the opportunity to teach someone something, then that's just gonna solidify the information that you are already knew. Something that I stopped doing is I don't rewrite every single note anymore. I used to do that to drill the information in my head, but I just realized I don't have the time for that. Because if I commit all this time to rewriting all my notes for one class, then I'm sacrificing the time that I should be giving to other classes too. Turn your notes into a story, read them over a couple times a day, apply them clinically, and make it make sense to you. By the time the exam comes, you're gonna be prepared. One last thing I want to emphasize is don't waste your time on Quizlet. Vet school isn't about memorizing, it's about actually learning the material, and I guarantee the information you learn in one semester is going to appear on an exam in another semester and then all that information is going to appear on your navly in a couple of years. <laughs>
Finals week is stressful, but it's not impossible. There's no shame in drinking a lot of caffeine, but listen to your body. If your body's tired, not absorbing information, then go to bed. Take a nap. When you wake up, you'd be surprised how much information you actually remember from the night before. Eat, you gotta eat because your brain needs it. At some point during your studies, take a break and talk to somebody not about school. Go take a walk, scroll through Instagram, watch an episode on Netflix. You're working hard, you're studying something that is not easy. I did it, you can do it, anybody can do it if they just set their mind to it. My exams for the semester were principles of infectious disease, gross anatomy, microscopic anatomy, which had a lot of histology and physiology. And I managed to finish the semester strong. And if you're watching this video and you have any tips on how to study for finals, comment down below. Thank you.